scams rule will go into effect. This is one. Powered by WCTV.TV. Eyewitness News at 11 starts now. Details on a Supreme Court order that could delay former President Donald Trump's trial on charges of interference in the 2020 election. Plus, if you're getting a live look out west at LAX as people take to the skies and the roads for Christmas weekend, lots of people out on the road will hear from travelers dealing with the holiday hustle. What we're looking for is an equitable, competitive environment where teams that are competing for a championship are waking up and playing by the same rules. And that's just frankly not the environment that we're currently in. But first, Florida State University's much-anticipated Board of Trustees meeting ending in a lawsuit. The board now suing the Atlantic Coast Conference over media rights. And within minutes, we learned the ACC is fighting back with a lawsuit of its own. Thank you for joining us. I'm Zach Dahlheimer. Abby has the night off. The WCTV sports team has been on top of the big story all day long. We want to bring in our Sydney Wicker, who's continuing our coverage tonight. And Sid, you, Ryan, and Allison, you all have been hard at work on a story that's gaining traction in Tallahassee and nationwide. Yeah, well, the short notice meeting took place at 10 o'clock this morning and led to Florida State filing a lawsuit against the ACC. The 38-page document is divided into seven counts. It can get a bit confusing, so WCTV Sports Director Ryan Kelly breaks it all down. It's 